99% of the is fake. I've been hunting for that source for a long time. They can't make it work for the pricing you see on the internet. Then I'm like, okay, what would it be for a bottle? He says $500 per bottle raw cost for us. What is up everyone? It's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR spritz is some intelligent silver. Here's your noises. Some squishy spritz noises. I'll bite to smell it though. And then the ASMR sip is some good old G zero. Big day today in the studio. We have the evolution of Russo's favorite abuse research cam, MK677, is now being outshined, apparently. I haven't really seen or you know heard anyone take this drug yet, but MK777 is about to hit the scene, and I am very interested because, as we all know here, I have abused MK677. What a twist! for quite a long time years and i've done a lot of content around it and it is one of in my opinion the best bang for your buck research chemicals out there as far as what it does and there is a ton of associated side effects with it you know it's really working a lot of systems and there is a lot of you know back and forth with mk677 especially in the blood glucose department right you know russo's called the bloat lord where did that really stem from you know that stem from my abuse of 677 fucking on my insulin sensitivity causing me to be bloated all the time and like when i would drop 677 voila it looks like a lift again well that was picked up on in the lab and the actual people who develop these drugs you know the compounding pharmacists the actual bio lab experts right they went back to the drawing board and it seems like they've come out with mk777 which should be hitting the underground hopefully within this next year and i'll be going into i did inquire you know one of my plugs that i trust that apparently um scoped a source and i looked on ebay real quick for you guys but this is a overview please give a thumbs up on this video and as always check out ryan russo link tree to support this type of content and now a word from our sponsors this video is sponsored by happy hippo botanicals so as you can see the stoner russo talking about his marijuana abuse i wanted to point you towards one of the top kratom suppliers of the entire world so so I would say Kratom is a opiate alternative as far as pain management where you do not have to go through big pharma and it is a god-given plant and there are multiple different types of kratom so i would definitely interact with the customer service on which kratom is best for you but i would take into consideration the addiction just like the addiction of marijuana you want to be aware if you have an addictive personality that this is a product that is going to weigh on that however i do believe that if you are in chronic pain and or you are recovering in need of pain pain assistance, pain management, I would rather see strategic use of Kratom. Kratom is one of those products where it 120,000% works and it's acting the same way an opiate would act. However, you have a lot more modulation benefits of having multiple different strains of Kratom and you have a ability to wean yourself off in a much more strategic manner. If you need pain management, I definitely recommend you checking out Happy Hippo and check out their catalog. Check out their multiple products if i was in a chronic pain situation and or my friend was i would probably pick that if not always pick that over traditional painkiller routes based on you know the ethics of kratom being a god-given plant so there is no um ntbi data that i could find quickly on mk777 and the mk677 data we have already discussed in a lot of detail i'll throw up one and a card for you guys to watch but mk677 in short is a gh secretagogue so it is messing around with the hunger hormone system 
which is causing the um, pituitary to secrete multiple types of growth hormone. I always like to say that, that there are different types of growth hormones. And when you inject growth hormone, you're just getting one exogenously added in. When you're taking 677 or any secretagogue and your pituitary is secreting all these different types, which you could argue, is there some sort of benefit? Can you pick out the differences? With my research, no. If somebody knows more, you know, and there is finite differences linked towards some sort of, you know, data that can like back it. Sure, comment it down below. I love learning from my audience, but um, that's that's always there as like this magical like unicorn thing of like adding MK677 on top of growth hormone, for example, could be more beneficial because you're getting the multiple types of growth hormone that you're missing out on and you're still running your pituitary system versus it completely shutting off by exogenously doing growth hormone all the time. You could make that that argument with 677 however the counter argument would be that it fucks up your insulin sensitivity so fucking bad that you're already fucking it up with regular growth hormone why would you do that mk777 may be changing it up so i did want to see what cheater gpt pulled um apparently it is saying there is a 92 percent greater um receptor affinity than mk677 so it should be stronger and it has a half-life of eight to ten hours where we see 677 around six hours more like if you look at the actual data it's around it's a six hour don't worry it's a six hour thing but like the meat and potatoes is like three to four hours with the tails extending six hours so for example you could theoretically have your pituitary secreting all day easier with 777 versus 677 it's a newer analog engineer to be more potent and selective with a shorter duration claims of fewer side effects. The fewer side effects is the MK777. Again, this is the advertising claim. I don't know. I haven't taken this drug is um, going to be apparently not causing the bloat lord issue. We'll see when Russo gets it and scales the dosage into oblivion. I'll probably still get the bloat lord issues. But um, in the, you know, in the efficacious doses that like normal people would do, um, MK K677 theoretically will be more tolerable. It will do less of the, oh, I take 677 and I eat 10 boxes of cereal right you know the 777 should not be triggering the hunger system as much apparently according to what they're claiming as 677 and you should be running into less blood glucose issues which is a problem because you could become type 1 diabetic with mk677 alone if you were already fat with no insulin response at all and then you took 677 you would be damaging your pancreas at an accelerated rate 777 seven may just more shuttle it into more like how old school guys will come to me and you know they'll bitch me out that i don't use regular gh which has like fat burning lipolysis effects instead i'll gain fat on 677 because i like the obviously the brain hunter activation activity but i also like the different growth hormones that are secreted too you know that's like my little comeback is that if 777 doesn't present any metabolic issues then i see it as a staple of putting on top of regular growth hormone the same way as putting hcg under your TRT because you would want your pituitary system in my mind you would want to dose 777 at night if you're doing GH during the day to have your pituitary system still dumping its normal circadian rhythm and you could really think of that as keeping the lights on on your pituitary but more importantly you're getting these different types of growth hormones that are shutting off when you're using GH all the time your body detects that there's too much IGF-1 available what does it do it shuts down the pituitary you could override that with 777 and theoretically not have the metabolic damaging side effects of 677 there is what um cheater gpt pulled up and that's pretty much all the data i have it's really looking like i'm you know ecstatic that this is, this is coming out because mk677 is as you guys know one of my favorite compounds and that is easily um in my opinion i agree like bashed on the blood glucose issues right you know i've blown up 15 pounds of water on 677 and yeah i can pull it off in the sauna and i can do all this stuff but the average person might just hold that weight after and you could just say oh 677 just put garbage weight on that person right 
and they have no idea how to control their blood glucose on that and that would make this drug you know not something that a higher level bodybuilder would pick if mk777 comes along and there's no report of metabolic issues and it's not really impacting the ghrelin system as much aka they're dieting for a show and they can't binge cereal then this might be a drug that everyone adds on top of their growth hormone regime and maybe even they scale down their growth hormone because the thing about growth hormone is that it's not like these secretagogues where you're getting a trickle pulse effect all day if you dose it like that or for an extended period of time for example six seven sevens around six hours they're claiming eight to ten with seven 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 growth hormone much shorter than that you would theoretically gain tremendous benefit of having a trickle pulse all day aka your body's like slowly recovering all day versus these crazy spiked igf peaks and valleys right so i really am excited i did um reach out to one of my plugs because i do see it on ebay and some other places and this is what one of my long-term plugs had to say he says this is not me talking don't come at me don't come on my social medias. I'm just 99% of the MK777 is fake. I've been hunting for that source for a long time. They can't make it work for the pricing you see on the internet. Then I'm like, okay, what would it be for a bottle? He says $500 per bottle raw cost for us is what he got with his suppliers that claim legitimate real MK777. Now, obviously you can rehash MK677 the same way most other drugs are faked online, right? I don't know. Obviously as Reddit picks up on this, I'm throwing this out there because I'm Mr. 677 over here. I'm Mr. Blowlord, right? As I throw this out on the internet, I expect to see there be a stir and hopefully, you know, you guys will go out there and you get the pricing down to 120 a bottle, right? Because that's like when 677 was at its height, it was around 120 a bottle. So obviously 500 is way too much for the drug it is. Um, 677 is an absolute bargain. It's like sitting around what, like 60 to 100 average 677 price. And you could theoretically squeeze, you know, like one to two IUs max out of your pituitary. If they're saying a greater affinity, which again, Cheater GPT is saying 92% greater, more selectivity towards the GHS r1a and modulates sstr2-5 with an elimination life of eight to ten hours so some biochem guy can you know elaborate on that in the comments basically i really do want to see this be the successor of 677 and hit the scene hard because yeah that would eliminate a lot of the hoopla around 677 is yeah you just get this horrible look you almost basically look natty from the water retention and it's hard to deal with and you actually have to do things to pull it off after i think that's the thing that you know people watch me yo-yo my body and like one week i'll look like bloated as shit then like the next week after all this sauna and all this hit cardio i look like a different person then i yo-yo the 677 again i wouldn't have to be doing that as hard if it wasn't metabolically that much of a clusterfuck to deal with because i'm deciding to dose it in this way where i'm trickle pulsing my endogenous growth hormone system all day like that's what i want is like a slow trickle pulse all day of recovery this would help tremendously if that metabolic bullshit wasn't there or at least lessened that would be an improvement of mk677 overall and mk777 would definitely have more interest towards higher level bodybuilders and more in general just like taking out the big you know the big diabetes risk around mk677 you know i feel like people want to see a secretagogue that's oral operate like a injectable peptide secretagogue. This seems to be MK677 the one to do it. I'm super ecstatic to see this hit the market, but I am putting that caveat out there that I did ask one of my well-known plugs for years and they always test their shit. Um, they obviously want MK777. The Blow Lord Russo obviously wants coupon code Russo next to MK777, but it doesn't seem feasible price-wise right now with the cost it is to make. And that was the issue with LGD3303 as well, is that some of these ones are either extremely hard to stabilize to actually have real LGD3303 
3303 and the cost of this one is way too high currently i think if there's a demand in reddit i do think you know somebody will be able to drop the real deal and i will be obviously one of the first to be playing around as long as i know i'm documenting legitimate mk777 i don't want to um grab something that states it's mk777 and it'd be mk677 and there are multiple different types if you know ordering raws of 6777 so just when i say like okay russo saw that mk777 is about to hit the scene he's mr you know mr blow lord okay he, he obviously wants to be around this brand wise when i go and talk to my supplier that is obviously wanting to get me like stuff to document on youtube he's saying it's 500 dollars per bottle that's way too much i'm excited to see how this pans out though because the need for injectable growth hormone peptides might really go down if mk677 solves a lot of these issues of mk677 so if you are interested make sure to cause an uproar in the pd part of reddit and just start arguing for no reason i will see you guys in my next one